In today's video, I'm going to give you three great questions you can ask to wow the person who is interviewing you. Let's go. Now in today's video, I just wanna give you questions that are going to impress the person interviewing you. At the end of the interview, most of the time, you will get an opportunity to ask questions. And if you have truly great ones, you are going to make an impression, you are going to leave a mark, and you are going to increase the probability that you get an offer. Now the first one that I want you to ask at the end of your interview is, among the people who have held this role previously, what is the difference between those who were good and those who were great? This is a really powerful interview question. Not only is it really quite compelling, it makes them think a little bit, wow, what was the difference between good and great? But it's also going to give you the characteristic tips, skills, backgrounds, etc., that truly allowed people to excel. And trust me, you want that information. That's the first question. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to pick a question that shows you are informed and ask about something specifically you have found through research. Now, if the public, uh, if the company is public, you can Google online, let's say it's Tesla, for example, and you can Google Tesla 10K. Now, what that is, is, is information that they put out for shareholders so that you can see the company strategy from a very high level. So you can look in there find something intriguing, and then ask them a question about that. Be like, you know, I was reading your company's 10K that was published last quarter, and one of the things I felt really intriguing, or one of the things I found really intriguing, was your company's strategy towards emerging markets. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Um, or you can go, you know, on your company website. Uh, one of the things I found really interesting was I found one of your product categories to be very unique. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? But basically what I'm asking you to do there is I'm asking you to do a little bit of research, find something interesting that you can fashion a question around and ask that in your, um, in your interview. That's interview question number two. Now the next question is something that's interested me. I love this question. I think it's really, really solid. And that's, can you tell me a little bit about your vision of your team over the next 18 months? Where do you see it evolving? I think that question is really powerful for a few reasons. If the person is anything like me, they're going to want to share with you their vision. How do they see the company and the team changing? How are you a part of it? Um, what do they, um, they see as an issue that they'd like to address? It's also going to give you an idea of how much of a visionary this person is. Do they have a vision or this kind of going about the day to day? Either way, it's an impressive interview question. It gives a person interviewing you an opportunity to kind of cast their vision and it allows you to kind of get an idea of what does that look like? How will I be involved? And how might my role be evolving over the coming months and years? Now, those are my questions. If you've still made it here, do not leave because I want you to watch this video next. Now, this video is all about questions you can ask the interviewer to find out what exactly is your day-to-day -day going to be. Job descriptions don't always do a great job of telling you what you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you ask these questions right here, you will absolutely know what you're gonna be doing.